Hello, my dear students. How are you doing? I hope you are doing well. The theme of our lesson is Professional Rules. My dear pupils, today we are going to learn the grammar have to and don't have to. Then we are going to read the text and after that we are going to do the tasks. Итак, ребята, сегодня на уроке мы выучим модальный глагол have to и его отрицательную форму don't have to. Затем мы прочитаем текст и закрепим свои знания упражнениями. My dear pupils, we have learned jobs before and now we are going to practice listening task. You listen to Bert who is looking for a job and you should circle the correct answer. Take your time and then we'll check. Look, Betsy, there is some interesting job advertisements in that newspaper. Yes. What, for example? There is a job for a chemist. Come on, Bert. <laughs> you are not a chemist. I know. But the job is interesting. And? There is a job for a cook. So what? <laughs> you hate cooking and you can't cook. Yes, you're right. But look, someone is looking for help for an elderly woman. Come on, Bert. I am an elderly woman, so help me if you want. <laughs> Anything else? Sure. There is one I like most. They need a writer's assistant. I like the job very much. I can type. I can use the computer. I can help the writer. I think I have very interesting ideas for books. So maybe I can work as a writer assistant. Well, sounds good to me. Call them. All right. You are right. Bert wants to be a writer, so he starts his career as a writer's assistant. Well done. My dear pupils, let's practice questions. Read the sentence and make up a question to the underlined word. For example, my name is Arman. And the question is, what's your name? Do the next sentence yourself. And then we'll check. Are you ready, my students? Let's check your answer. How old are you? I'm 12 years old. The next question. Right you are. Where are you from? I'm from Kazakhstan. You are right. The question should be, what's your mom's name? My mom's name is Aigul. Now, pupils, let's learn the grammar rule have to and don't have to. We use have, has to, to show obligation. Мы употребляем модальный глагол have to или has to, чтобы показать обязательство. For example, I have to wear a tie at work. На работе я должен носить галстук. She has to start work at 9 a.m. Она должна начать работу в 9 утра. Это правило. We use don't or it doesn't have to to show lack of necessity. Мы употребляем don't have to, doesn't have to, чтобы показать отсутствие необходимости. For example, you don't have to finish the report today. К примеру, тебе не нужно заканчивать отчет сегодня. В этом нет необходимости. Let's learn the structure of affirmative sentences. Давайте изучим структуру утвердительных предложений. С местоимениями I, you, we, they мы употребляем have to. Обратите внимание, что после have to 
мы используем глагол в форме инфинитив. С местоимениями he, she, it мы употребляем has, to, и глагол стоит тоже в инфинитиве. The negative form – отрицательная форма. Мы употребляем don't have to с местоимениями I, you, we, they. После don't have to мы ставим глагол в инфинитив. С местоимениями he, she, it мы используем doesn't have to. Также употребляем инфинитив. My dear pupils, let's learn interrogative sentences. Давайте сейчас изучим вопросительное предложение. В вопросительных предложениях мы вспомогательный глагол ставим на первое место. For example, do I have to send an email? Does she have to work long hours? И на эти вопросы вкратце мы можем ответить Yes, I do or Yes, she does. No, they don't or No, it doesn't. Try to remember. My dear students, let's practice. Fill in have to, has to, or doesn't have to. Max and Amy have got new jobs. Look at what they have and don't have to do. Max is a baker, as you see, and he has to get up early, be friendly, be creative, and work long hours. Amy is a police officer. And she has to be fit, be friendly, protect people and work long hours. Take your time and then we'll check. My dear students, are you ready? Let's check your answers together. Max has to get up early. You are right. Amy has to be fit. Max and Amy have to be friendly. Right you are. Max doesn't have to protect people. Amy doesn't have to be creative. Max and Amy have to work long hours. Great job! My dear students, look at the picture. Do you know this person? Now we are going to read a text about Dmitry Shomko. Please follow my reading. This is Dmitry Shomko. He is a very busy man, but he hasn't got an ordinary job. Dmitry is a professional footballer. Dmitry is from Yakubastos in Kazakhstan and he plays football for football club Astana. He wears a yellow shirt with blue stripes and his number is 77. He plays in matches all over Europe and he also plays for the national football team of Kazakhstan. For these matches he wears a blue and white shirt. Some people think professional footballers work part-time, but for Dmitry, football is a full-time job. He has to keep fit and he practices with his team at their home ground Astana Arena. Dmitry is hard-working and he trains for many hours every day, even when he doesn't have to play in a match. The weather in Astana is sometimes very cold. So winter training sessions are tiring and difficult, but Dmitry doesn't mind. He loves his job and he loves seeing the faces of his fans when he scores a goal. Now, pupils, you should answer the question. What is Dmitry Shomko's job? Right you are. He is a professional footballer. The next question, where is Dmitry from? You are right, 
Dmitry is from Yekobastus, Kazakhstan. What teams does Dmitry play for? Right you are. Football club Astana, the national team of Kazakhstan. The next question. Where does Dmitry practice football? What do you think? Right you are. He practices with his team at their home ground, Astana Arena. Now your task is to read the text again, and then we'll do true or false task. My dear students, your task is to mark the sentences true or false. Take your time and then we'll check. My dear students, I see that you are ready. Let's check your answers. Dmitry's number is 77. What do you think? Is it true or false? Right you are. That's true. Dmitry works part-time. What do you think? Is it true or false? Right you are. That's false. He works full time. Dmitry only plays football matches in Kazakhstan. What do you think? Is it true or false? That's false. He plays all over Europe. And the last question. Dmitry enjoys making his fans happy. That's true. Well done. My dear students, thank you for being active. You've made great job. Today, my dear students, we have learned the grammar have to, don't have to. Then we have read the text and after that we have done the tasks. My dear pupils, our lesson is over. Thank you. See you next time.